I'm going to break with the testimony on this bill briefly so that uh, I can allow uh, Representative Slater to put his other bill on the calendar tonight in play uh, for two purposes. Number one, that he's got to get to uh, the House Finance Committee where they're holding hearings now, and two, because these two bills have witnesses in common, and I could speed the testimony up by allowing people to testify when they come forward on both bills. So, House Bill uh, 5863, sponsored by Representative Slater. It's an act related to labor and labor relations and licensing. It creates a new process with standards to be utilized when deciding whether an applicant's past criminal contact convictions should disqualify them from receiving a government-issued license. Thank you. thank you, Chairman, and thank you, committee members. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for putting in the time tonight and listening to um, um, some passionate testimony and folks that, um, as issues, as social justice issues, <clears throat> this has been a passion of mine as a legislator. Um, nine years ago, when I ran for office and knocking doors in uh, sections of my area, in my neighborhood, um, a lot of folks talked to me and they, and when I knocked on their door, a lot of them said, thank you for giving me my right to vote back um, when we passed the law allowing felons to vote. Um, and they said, but that's great that I have my right to vote. Now I need to be able to support my family, many of them said. And they said to me, a lot of times when they went to seek employment after having a felony, um, they weren't given a call back. They weren't even given a... Uh, once they filled out that, checked off that box, they were never contacted again. Um, so that began my, my career up here and one of the pieces of legislation that I was proud and happy to work with, a lot of the folks that are working with me on this piece of legislation was Be In The Box. Now Be In The Box took that felony question off job applications and I thought that was important to give people a foot in the door, allow them to tell their story. Many of these folks, what had happened to them, whether it be uh, possession, uh, drug possession, and they had a felony on their record, or various, cr various crimes happened years ago. And they had changed their life around. I mean, I had folks that were reverends um, in, the, in the clergy now, and uh, um, people that just needed a second chance. They needed that, that, that second chance. And when I'm looking at this, Pete, as legislators, we value the well-being of every Rhode Islander. Every person in our state deserves access to affordable, basic services, safety in their communities, and dignity in their lives. We say this, and yet Rhode Island jeopardizing the well-being of tens of thousands of our neighbors. It should strike us as lawmakers counterproductive to Rhode Island's stated commitment to re-entry that people are being denied a license for a skill they learned in prison once they have, be once they have come home. So in Rhode Island, um, this bill, there are 30, 387 state laws that bar people with records from crucial everyday needs, from employment to education to housing. Even as states reduce its incarcerated population, it's one of the nation's leaders in erecting barriers for people with records. So um, as I said in the campaign for being the box, I never seen a judge um, sentence anyone to a lifetime of unemployment. Um, so a lot of times these felonies, they carry around like a scarlet letter. This would allow, put a process in place for folks with licenses um, to get back into employment, especially um, far too often occupational licensing restrictions are set arbitrarily and rely on ambigu ambiguous good character standards that allow people to be denied jobs even when the conviction is entirely unrelated to the occupational license they seek. So this would put a process in place. Um, and I'm looking forward to working with you, Chairman, and the committee members um, to try to get, this, to get this legislation passed. I think it's important to so many people in our state to get them back into, um, into gainful employment, to work. Into, and people are in recovery. Um, they need employment. It's one of the major things to continuing their recovery, and they need housing. Um, and a lot of times, the scholar letter that they carry around with them 
of a criminal record is keeping them from that. So um, I think both of these bills that I have tonight work in conjunction in a way. Um, and I'm extremely happy and proud to put these pieces of legislation before you. And I know, thank you for taking this um, because you're right, there's a lot of folks, a lot of wonderful folks that are here to testify in favor of both of these pieces of legislation. I know many of them are working extremely hard lobbying on the floor um, for both of these pieces of legislation, so thank you.